once COVID hit, uh, we had to rethink what those keynotes would be. Welcome to NVIDIA GTC 2020, our first kitchen keynote. So Jensen challenged us to find ways to elevate his kitchen keynote. So we went off and created a 3D digital twin of his kitchen that we could find unique ways of bringing his kitchen to life. We took hundreds of photographs from every angle of his kitchen, pumped all of those photos through a photogrammetry application that would build a coarse model to scale. And that became the starting point in which our modelers would add a lot more detail and accuracy to the model. The kitchen is very complex. If you look closely, you're gonna see like thousands of screws, a lot of hidden objects in the scene that are actually the fabricated components of the kitchen. I would say there's probably six to 8,000 objects in the scene, polygon-wise in the hundreds of millions. There are a few little uh, Easter eggs that we put in there. There's a coffee grinder with an NVIDIA logo on it. The olive oil tin, the name was changed to Tau, which is one of the software products that we announced. And somewhere around there, a Lego Jensen's running around. Jensen challenged us to create a digital twin of his kitchen and also himself to be featured in the pivotal moment of the keynote. This kind of undertaking is the epitome of what GTC is. It combines everything that NVIDIA does in computer graphics, AI, and simulation. In order to pull this off, our creative engineering and research teams all had to work together as one. You'll see the kitchen disassemble, and when Jensen reappears inside of the holodeck, it's actually the virtual version of himself. He proceeds to introduce our new CPU, teleports away, and then the next time we cut back, we're back to the real Jensen. All right, what's the game plan? And three, two, one. Guys, you can relax. I love it. It hurt just a little. <laughs> In a series of poses, took thousands of photos of them, and that was the base in which we constructed the 3D model. So once we had the model of Jensen, now we have to bring him to life. Two main components to bring him to life uh, was the facial performance and the body performance. Uh, the facial performance was driven by our technology audio to face. The beige hue on the waters of the lock impressed all. An automated way of using uh, an audio clip to drive uh, the facial performance of any likeness character. And that returned a pretty good result, but it wasn't pixel perfect and it wasn't photo real. We then reached out to the video research team they were working on a technology called face video to video. And what that would do is that would take a photograph of Jensen and map it to the animated CG version of himself. This vid to vid technology enabled us to bridge that uncanny valley from the CG model to a, a photorealistic convincing uh, version of himself full screen on camera. Model to create the CG shots. And we take the video and turn the face part into a realistic Jensen the face part is then composed with the CG shots, and the final Jensen, including head and body, is put into the kitchen to complete the final production of digital Jensen.